line blocks on Squarespace are quite marvelous. I think some sites really benefit from them. It breaks up content nicely and it looks really slick. On others, it looks a bit crap, to be honest, but that's much of a muchness, really. If you're gonna use them, then I wanna show you how to use them properly. So I'm gonna show you how to change the color and also the opacity of a line block in Squarespace. So I'm gonna show you how to first off add the line block and then how to color it. So if I go into edit, and then let's say I have a couple of pieces of content um, like, like this. So I wanna separate this gallery from some text. So I use a line block. Put the line in like so, and then I'll just put the text beneath, and then you can have blah, 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 whatever it may be. That is on the classic editor. Now, if I wanna add a line, let's say under this list of blog posts, I'd add a line like so. And then what we can do is we can move that about but we can also resize it. So if I wanted it to span the entire section, I would literally just drag it to both sides, uh, like so. And you can see that almost acts as like a section divider. You can also increase the height, like so, just to give it a bit more padding um, either side, like this. So you've got it in place. Now what you wanna do is just hit save exit and we want to go to site styles so design site styles and then colors we want to then pick the color of that section that the line is in so we've got this one is lightest one so we go into there then we can either click the line block and that will bring us to line color here or if we show all, we can just go down and look for line block i usually just use the search like so for line and then I will go down until I find line line block here. So what we want to do is click on line color and then we can do custom and we can change it to whatever we want. So let's say I want to make it red. We can also change the opacity using the color palette here. So let's say I made this blue. I can then change how opaque the line block is. So if I wanted it to be really, really faint, I'd do something like that. Hit save, hit exit, and here we go. So you've got the line block here, nice and faint, and same goes for here. I tend to go with a fainter color, just because I find like super solid colors on the line block quite garish. So that's just my personal preference. But anyway, that is how you add a line block, you resize a line block, you change the color of a line block, and you change the opacity of a line block. If you did find this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.